Greetings. Welcome to the Yang Style Tai Chi course. I'm Michael Gilman. Today's lesson, the lesson that we're going to be working on, is the 54 form, sometimes uh, known as sort of intermediate form. This form was the first form that I learned from Master Choi, and it was sort of the it's sort of the most popular form. Chen Men Ching has a version that's just about exactly the same as this form. So I'd say most people tend to do this form. Uh, it's very similar to the Yang family demonstration uh, form. So um, it's basically the long form without the big foot kick section and taking out some of the um, repeated movements, and it's just a little bit more complicated than the 34 short form. So I call it the intermediate form, or 54 form, and I think you're going to enjoy it. So what we're going to do is I'm going to demonstrate the form, go through the form from the rear shot, so those of you who are, have learned it or know it can follow along. Then I will show it from the front, um, kind of taking little pieces and looking at it from the front. And then I'm going to show you the applications for most of the movements and given time we'll then go through again. So this form takes about 10 minutes to go through. The, sh the short form, the 34 form, takes about 6 minutes. This takes about 10 minutes and the long form takes about 20 minutes. So uh, I guess that's it, and um, we'll go through, uh, once again, I'll go through from the rear first, then from the front, and then we'll look at the applications. Okay, here we go. Commencement of Tai Chi Chuan. Ward off left. Right push upward. Roll back. Press. Push. Single whip. Raise hands. Stork spreads its wings. Left brush knee. Play the fiddle. Left brush knee. Step up, parry and punch. Withdraw and push. Cross hands. Carry tiger to mountain.
roll back. Press. Push. Fist under elbow. Step back and repulse monkey. Slanting flying. Raise hands. Stork spreads its wings. Left brush knee. Needle at sea bottom. Fan through the back. Turn. And white snake puts out tongue. Roll back. Press. Push. Single whip. Waving hands like clouds. One. Four. Single whip. Snake creeps down. Golden pheasant stands on one leg, right. Golden pheasant stands on one leg, left. High pat on horse. Separation of the right foot kick. Separation of the left foot kick. Turn 
and left foot kick with sole. Left brush knee. Right brush knee. Step up and punch downward. Ward off left. Right push upward. Roll back. Press. And push. Single whip. Fair lady works at shuttles. Ward off left. Right push upward. Roll back. Press. Push. Single whip. Snake creeps down. Step up to form seven stars. Retreat to ride a tiger. Turn around and kick horizontally. Shoot a tiger with bow. Step up, deflect downward, and punch. Withdraw, and push. Conclusion of Tai Chi Chuan. Okay, so let's uh, look at it from the front. Okay, shall we? <coughs> I'll give it a little more room. Commencement. Pong. Lu. Chi. An. Um. 
ward off left, join, lead, step in, pop. Right push upward, sink, step, pong. Roll back. Press. Push. Single whip. Raise hands, join, and lead in. Stork spreads its wings, join, and lead. Left brush knee. Play the fiddle. Left brush knee. Step up, parry and punch. Join, lead in. Step. One, two, parry, and punch. Withdraw and push. Cross hand. Carry tiger to mountain. Roll back. Press. Fist under elbow. Step back and repulse monkey. Slanting flying. Raise hands. Stork spreads its wings.
left brush knee. Needle at C bottom. Fan through the back. Turn and white snake puts out tongue. Roll back. Press. Push. Single whip. Waving hands like clouds. One. Four. Snake creeps down. Golden pheasant stands on one leg. I pat on horse. Separation of the right foot kick. Separation of the left foot kick. Turn. Left foot kick with sole. Left brush knee. Right brush knee. Step up and punch downward. Ward off, left. Right push upward. Roll back. Press.
push. Single whip. Fair lady works at shuttles. Wardolf left. Right push upward. Roll back. Press. Push. Single whip. Snake creeps down. Step up to form seven stars. Retreat to ride a tiger. Turn around and kick horizontally. Shoot a tiger with bow. Step up, deflect down, and punch. Withdraw and push. Conclusion of Tai Chi Chuan. Okay. Well, some highs and lows, sometimes doing the form, things happen. Um, okay, so this next section, what we're going to do is we're going to look at the applications of uh, for these movements. So I'd like to call out uh, my able assistant at this time, Stephanie Morell. She's going to help me to demonstrate these applications while she gets herself on out here. Great, nice Steph. Hi. Okay, so we'll just take them. Uh, most of you have been following, you know, my work along. These are the same applications uh, that we've been using for all the other forms, and um, we'll just review them, go through them so that you can be clear again. Okay, so commencement, generally speaking, you know, we're, we're doing the way we, we're doing this opening Pong Lu Jian, it's just sort of getting the energy going, but it could also be if somebody was pushing me, we could just open and pull them down.
very simple. Or if they had already grabbed, we could come up and break down. Okay, so ward off, for ward off left, um, as she's punching in on this side, uh, in, of course, in every application, the main thing is we want to evade, get out of the way. Right? And so my body, as, I, as we're facing each other, and as she punches, see, as I move slightly to my left, I, the energy is sort of going by me. So uh, as that happens, I join and lead her energy over to the side. And if you would stay, say you step, but it doesn't matter which foot. So if she comes in with this side, you see, when she comes in with this side, as I join and lead and close her, you see I have the uh, nice ability to throw her off balance and she can't attack me very easily with this hand. So this would be the application I would use throw her over my leg. But if, like, what she wanted to do was punch at me with this foot, so I can't step to throw over my leg. So in this case, I have to strike her. So it would have to be a quicker kind of movement. So when she comes in with this side, so I come in and then, you know, would, would hit her as opposed to pushing her. And of course, um, you know, we'd rather knock them off balance, push them rather than hit them in any case. Okay, so that's ward off left. Right push upward. Now for right push upward, uh, let's say if she comes over on this side, <clears throat> she grabs me with this hand, either hand, with either hand. So when she grabs me with her right hand, I can't jerk it out of, I can't kind of get my hand out. So she's attached to me. So what I do is what we call pong, and I just expand up, step into her and expand into her space. See, now I have this other hand that can do lots of things, you see. So the things, when somebody grabs you, they want to hold on to you, you see. Now, Steffi, because she's doing Tai Chi a lot, she has her thumb over on this side. Most of the time, people, what they do is they grab you with the hand, all, you know, the fingers all the way around. And then when I do this movement, she's really trapped. She can't, her hand can't escape. Whereas when, when she grabbed me like she wanted to grab me after doing Tai Chi, so she can control me. But now when I go to do this, she can slip off because her hand is free to, to slip off. Now, if she grabs me with the other hand, I have a little more of a problem, you see. If she's grabbed me and I do this movement, it doesn't really do any good because she's open and, and there's lots of, you know, it doesn't jam too easy. So in this case, I can slip out easily. As I slip out, then I just whap up. Like something like that. Okay, so that's right, push upward. I like the first one better, just sort of just ponging upward. Roll back, say she's grabbed me here, she grabs his hand, and so what I'm going to do is close her up, extend her, at the same time I can do this arm bar kind of thing. I can either knock her off or I can turn this into a grab and make this into an arm bar. Roll back. Press follows this. Since she is here, I, there's a good target here you see, I can just come right in here. Or if she tries to escape, I can come in and press her. Okay. So roll and press usually follow each other. And push, if she's pushing in, so, okay, so, so roll and press. So here's right push upward, roll and press. Now, you'll see, a lot of times you'll see people do roll back like this. Roll and press, right? This is quite common, or like so. I can't understand, because if I rolled her back all the way over here, well, she would just, she would just come right into me. I would be exposing my flank to her. So what I like to do is, you know, always keep nice and open and keep attached to this person and press. Okay, and push is either she's grabbed me and I can 
knock her down and throw her away, or she's coming in, I can pull her and push her. Now, if I just uh, say you're rooted there, and, and I go to push her, you know, she can handle it. She's, you know, but so if I really want to push her, if I pull her a little bit and then push her, it sets off it's, uh, it, what we call uproots her. So that's where it's really important. In, in, in like when we do push, we always pull first and then push. One of the principles of Tai Chi is if you want to push, first you pull and then push. Right. Okay, next is single whip. And in a single whip, um, in this case, she's, uh, she's coming in with uh, this side to my nose. And now there's little transitions, for instance, uh, we do this transition. Well, basically, we have what we call center position is sort of our on guard position. And so I can come from here and just because somebody is in a different direction, I can become on guard. Uh, or, you know, transition, some transitions, it in order to make the form work out, we make transitions and sometimes that you don't have to explain them. Okay, so she's uh, punching in here. So again, I want to be going with, we always want to be going with the energy. So as I go with it, I join. And at the same time, now she is open so I can whip her underneath uh, in her flank. So this movement, when done correctly, ha is, is very quick and it has this, this what we call splitting energy so that when she's coming in, it's just, it all is happening at the same time. So if you can see it like here, yes, yeah, she says she's coming in here. Right? So, so this would whip here. Or whip anywhere, right, so that kind of thing. So we're, it's this pull is nice, and so we can expose it. So this one looks like. Hey, so here it comes. So we open and stretch, hit, hit him with the whipping structure. Next, raise hands. Raise hands. She's uh, uh, coming in to my flank because she's coming from the side. She's coming in, and I empty. empty, draw her in a little more than she likes to be, you see. At the same time, I can trap her here and break her arm here. I can, this is what we call arm bar, you see. I can, get her here. I can also kick downward. And that movement looks like join, lead her in, and arm bar. Stork spreads its wings. Stork spreads its wings is that she's, um, she's coming in with this side. And what I'm just going to do is join with this. You see this, you see this quite a lot if you come, come in this way. Okay, so when she's coming in, you see, I j join with her and keep her going in the same direction she was headed. And this hand comes up to either continue her forward momentum, and at this point I can kick okay, up here, okay, kick down below, or I could successfully just throw her onto the ground. But it's, it's the most important thing here is we're going to step to the side and allow this energy to join. Well, so after raise hands, you see the person's right here. So I step in and allow her to come over. Left brush knee, first left brush knee. First left brush knee follows this one. She comes in, stork spreads its wings. Left brush knee is just coming back here and then hitting. It's a little kind of boom, 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 boom kind of thing. She comes in. This chop, chop, funk. So chop, chop, funk. That kind of thing. Okay, play the fiddle next. So I guess we can come over here in the right form. Play the fiddle. Is she, she grabs me underneath with this this hand, and I seal her up. Come in in armbar, 
It's very important that I don't try and do the arm bar from back here because I can't reach it. Right? So what we have to do is close. I can also kick down on her hand. So it doesn't work if she does it from, from this hand. It doesn't work quite as well. It's a bit harder for me to, to seal her up. I don't have the right angle. So if, if she grabbed me with this, with this hand, I'd have to do some other movement. OK, so that's uh, called play the fiddle. Follow, we follow it up with the left brush knee. Now this is a little different. So we step in, we break this. And then what I'm going to do is going to twist her down press her down, and then strike. It's sort of a, it's a bonk, and you can just turn the, the energy, turn her over, you kind of press her down, and um, then strike. So that looks like one, two, over, and down. Step up, parry, and punch. She's coming in with this hand to the center. Neutralize it to the side. Neutralize it, grab her here back fist, okay. so it's, now this, this is so beautiful because it's the same thing we were just talking about. She's punching in, so the best place for me is behind her to the side of her. So I don't try and stop her, what I do is just let her in, then I, now I kind of secure her and I can strike her, and then this one comes up for another strike. Okay. So it's one, two, three, four. Okay. Okay. So then, say she she uh, just punches me here, so I neutralize it and strike. We can just do a little parry, little parry, and strike here. Or it can be one, two, three. If say she uh, she was punching in, and we did this, and say she I do this and she blocks, she she blocks it. Then I can parry it out of the way and strike her, which is nice. Okay, step up, parry, and punch. That looks like this. Withdraw and push. Withdraw and push. She grabs me with this hand. I get out. Now, when I get out to close up, Steffi's smart, so she comes in to do her shoulder strike. This is very common. You see, now she's closed up. She's at a complete disadvantage. So the thing is, what she wants to turn into her, to, into her advantage and come in and just crash, crash me out of the way. So as I do this, she comes in. I take her a little further up than she wants to go and then push her out. So it's called withdraw. So I take her off. She comes in. I neutralize her back and then throw her away which one push, and that's in this direction. Cross hands. In cross hands, she's grabbing me, I mean, she's, it's a sideways movement, and she's pushing from the side. Okay. So instead of, she's just pushing me right over, bonk. So instead of doing that, what I'm going to do is neutralize her, close her up. So you can see, uh, let's see what's the best angle for this, to, for them to see this. OK, say this way. <clears throat> so as she pushes, the tendency is to go this way. So as she pushes, I redirect her energy. Mm -hmm. And basically, I'm just going to step in, grab her from behind, and do whatever, once I've got her sealed. Got it. So that looks like this. Carry Tiger to Mountain. She's coming in and is going to, uh, from here, she's going to kick me, to kick me uh, with this leg, bonk, right? So she does that. I step in, grab her, and push her all over. In Tai Chi, we uh, almost always step into the kick. When she kicks, I just step in. You see, and then I can attack her. Right. Carry tiger to mountain. Then we repeat roll back, press forward, and push. Fist under elbow. Fist under elbow. That's such a beautiful movement. 
There's so many possibilities for a fist and elbow, but basically, say she's coming in this direction. You guys getting seasick from watching Steffi? She's having all the fun walking back and forth all the time. Okay, so she's coming in sort of in a little bit of an angle and pushing. Or she's pushing or striking. Okay, so she's, again, she's pushing me over. So what I'm going to do is pong, neutralize. And once again, I want to join with her. As I join with her, I step around behind her. See now, now I can attack her, which I'm going to do. I'm going to attack her upward with this other hand. So it could come from a strike even. She's so striking, so neutralize. I can hit her here and then hit here, that kind of thing. Or from pushing, she pushes, I neutralize. Pull. Right? That one looks like. Here it comes. Neutralize. Pull. Right. Step back and repulse monkey. She grabbed me, and I can just knock off. Very simple. I can knock off. Or I can, she can walk into it. I think I can control it. I can break the arm by twisting. Or I can just, you know, knock her off, or she can move into it, that kind of thing. And so we, we do this on both sides, say she were to do it, you know, this way, or she's hit, say she's going one, two, that kind of thing. So here she is, one, two, three, that kind of thing. We can, we can do that, which is kind of fun to do. So that's step back and pulse monkey, one, two, Next is slanting flying. Now, uh, it's going to be a <laughs> it's going to be like this. You see? So we'll do it here, so she so you can see it from this direction. Okay. In this case, she's coming in with this hand. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to block down here. And just come right on up, right? So it's so his. So man. And strike. I could do this hand too. She's coming with this hand. Okay. And strike. Yeah. So that one just looks like block down and strike. But raise hands. Just a slightly, slightly different uh, and because I'm here, she's coming in with this hand, so it's one, two, or this hand, one, two. Here I can do an arm bar. Here, I can't do an arm bar because the arm bends. So what I would do is I'd have to hit her here. So that one is one, two. Stork spreads its wings. Here we come in, and um, she's coming in with this hand. Yeah, so do a little more angle over here so they can see a little better. She's coming in to my center. So I neutralize. Now, because she could attack me with this hand, I immediately step in and, and hit her with my shoulder and arm. I then change this hand and strike upwards, throw her out of the way. Well, this seems so terrible, doesn't it? <laughs> and Steffi's usually such a nice person. <laughs> All right, so she's punching in, right? neutralize, bam, and bonk. So that one looks like, raise hands, bam, and bonk. Left brush, knee. But this is a double strike, so so here I am, uh, Storks first when she's punching me here. So it's one, two, three. One, two, three. Pretty simple. One, two, three. Needle at sea bottom. She grabs me with this hand. After I do this. So what I'm going to do is get back pull her down and poke her 
in the back or ribs. You see. So again, if if she's too, I, here, I can't step up because I, I would be all. I need to create a little room. So I come back and I pull her down. Now, if I were to really jerk her hard, you know, it could hurt her. So I wouldn't want to do that. So I come back, break her off, pull her down, and then I can attack different parts of her. She's kind of ticklish, so I could get her in some of the tricky spots. So this looks like one, two. Fan through the back. Fan through the back. After I've taken her down, I decided this isn't, she's not, she's no longer ticklish, so I'm going to have to do something else. So I, what I'm going to do is open her up, step in, and either push or hit. And this is sealing off, fan through the back. So this looks like. So I open them up, step in, and step in. Turn in white snake, puts out tongue. So again, this is a little transition. It, don't have, it, it could have applications, but we're just going to say, come into the center. And here she is. She's punching inward to my flank with her, with her, right? So what I'm going to do is empty it and turn. At the same time, I'm going to use my arm to neutralize her in. You see? This joining, so as she comes in, so it's kind of like you're punching down a little lower. So this joining is, is, is very important in Tai Chi, that we join and lead, and then punch outward, strike outward. OK, so that looks like. Then we do roll back, press forward, and push, single whip, we're going to use the same single whip for all of these. Next is um, waving hands like clouds. So waving hands like clouds is just basically ward off to the side. So she's coming slightly inward with this side. And I neutralize, step in, and attack her. And then she goes off and I follow her. And we repeat that four times. So it's basically the same thing. Neutralize and pong and then replace, New, join, lead, pong, join, lead, pong. And then another single whip. Snake creeps down. She's punching inward, sort of through my lower belly. So I step back, guide it in, and then come in and attack her lower body. So as she comes in, I lead her in, and then come in and attack here. And then that's going to be followed by a what we call golden pheasant. She comes in, I attack, and then I can just kind of come up and attack in this, with this side. She punches inward, I come back and attack here. So these golden pheasants, golden pheasants are a, a close in, close in kind of attack. She could be pushing me even, you know, and I could, you know, I could <laughs> kind of come up here and attack her, you know. That kind of thing. Kind of come in and attack. OK, so she punches in, punch up. OK, so that looks like, say, so down. High pat on horse. She grabs. I knock it off and slap her. She grab, knock it off, and slap her, like so. And then kick her. So uh, these uh, kicks, so she, uh, you, you grab me, knock her off, hit, and just kick. These are these are this these first two are snap kicks. Usually we kick the weighted foot. She's standing on that foot. We kick this knee. Um, okay, so um, or she's punching at my face with this hand. She's punching here. Neutralize and kick. Close her up. 
she punches me with this hand, I say, here, close her up, that kind of thing. These little snap kicks are very good for anywhere in the lower body. Tai Chi does good lower body things. Okay, so uh, once again, it's, it's golden pheasant. Hit, kick. There's a little transition that looks like a lot of things. Kick, turn, left will kick with soul. Soul kicks, basically somebody's behind me. She's punching me from behind. I'm going to turn and kick downward to her center kick, a little bit stronger thrust kick, right? Then brush knees. On, on, these, on these brush knees, after the foot kick, there's a, we, we're kind of a stepping in kind of thing. In that, um, she's going to punch inward. She's going to punch inward there. So I, so I brush. She punches in with this hand, brush and punch. So there's, there's a sort of a double, a double uh, brush. This is this, like so, so it looks like brush, brush, punch. So I'm sort of running low on time. So um, basically, we're almost there. Ward off, so punch, ward off, right push upward, roll back, press forward and push. And then uh, Fair Lady. Fair Lady is basically, you know, basically two possibilities. One, she grabs me here, and I come in. Or she's chopping me downward, say with this hand, and I block. She's chopping. I block and then hit her. So there's four, there's four of those. And um, I guess that I'm winding up. OK, thank you very much, Steffi. I really appreciate it. So uh, we certainly uh, had to breeze through that. I guess everything takes more time than anticipated. So thank you very much for your attention, and um, good luck in your career. <laughs> All right, see you later. Bye. Right, thanks.